Hello everyone, this is Ali and in this tutorial I will teach you how to use AI foundation in order to track a face and place the mask on a face like in this video we will learn how to do this like it detecting my face and also it is putting a mask on a face so I will teach you how to do it so in order to do it you need AR foundation AR core for Android and AR kit for iOS so I will teach you step by step it's not so difficult so for beginners I made this tutorial more easy okay so requirements you need any laptop if you are working for Mac so if you want to build iOS app you need a MacBook and for Android you can use any system any PC and you need a data cable if you want to check your build and also you can check your APK file Android file by uploading or downloading on your phone and you need a unity version I prefer this version it is LTS or you can download this or above then the next requirement if you want to build for Android if you are new in unity so when you just down download the unity you should check the android box so uh, and when you check the android uh, so it will download all the sdk jdk and ndk if you forget that then you have to download jdk sdk ndk so in order to do that you have to first go to unity preferences like this so you can see here are the path of your JDK, SDK and NDK if, if their path are not exist so you have to download these three to build for Android and for iOS developers not necessary okay iPhone developer need a MacBook is very important and Xcode you can download from Apple store it's very easy to download and you need iOS development account okay so you can go on th this link so you can download the unity and also you can type on a google like unity download archive so you can just go to 2020 version and find this version and download unity hub using unity hub you will down you have to download the free version not the paid version personal unity you can download and you can use that free of cost this project you have to go to the, the github and you have to download this AR Foundation 4.1 project here I sh show you you need to download the zip file after that you have to open that project in unity uh, like here I show you uh, you have to unzip the project and go to the folder and open that project so here you can see the project is open so let me show you in my unity as well so here I have this project already open so let me create a new scene for you to teach you how to make that face tracking project okay so I am creating a new scene so after creating a new scene I need to delete this camera because we don't need main camera we will use AR camera and then I have to go to XR after right clicking XR AR session and I need a session origin see these two objects I need and under this AR session region I have to go to AR camera and then I have to uh, yes tag this as a main camera and also I have to change facing direction from world to user so user is basically a front camera world is back camera so we need back front camera in this project because we have to detect the face of a user so after that these two steps I also mentioned these steps here so for your like uh, like you can easily follow here so like step by step I followed like I had already deleted the main camera after that I added the air session region and air uh, session and also I tagged the main camera and also uh, the camera direct facing direction I have done to user 
and then the it is staff we have to add air face manager script in the air session origin in this project all the scripts are already ready so you don't need to worry about the script things because uh, for the beginners writing a scripts are not easy so you have to uh, learn c sharp language if you want to write a script okay so let me show you you have to go here in air session region you have to type arf or any just s little keyword so you will find the ar face manager so here you can see it need one prefab and maximum face count so i set it three it's basically uh, when in the camera when there are three faces it can detect all three faces and place the camera uh, place the pre uh, material uh, mask uh, you can see you can say it, it can place a mask on three faces on the same time so if you set it four five ten it's up to you i'm setting a three but it's not required i can set a one or two also is also okay so and the second thing uh, let me also show you here like i said face count equal to three and i added the script the next step i have to drag the face mesh prefab from prefab folder to ar session origin like I have to go to the prefab folder and drag this here and this face mesh prefab is also you can create your own but for your like I don't want this tutorial become little difficult or lengthy so you can just find this prefab and drag drop and the previous tutorial if you watch my previous tutorial you you learn already how to create a prefab so I can go to directly the prefab folder and this is a face mesh if you don't find it you can search here so f this is face mesh prefab you can just like s check it like I it this prefab has air face script air face uh, mesh visualizer script and mesh render mesh filter and also the face material switcher script this game object has and this prefab you can also create from here like in the previous tutorial we have done it but uh, i don't want to make this tutorial a little lengthy or, or difficult so you just drag drop it it's very easy you go to air face manager oh sorry air session origin and air face manager script and drag drop it so you drag it here okay so you have air face manager and air face uh, oh, manager script and air session origin and prefab here and if you click on this prefab you can find this material currently it is selected as this one and in my presentation i selected this one like this uh ppt ppt yeah okay so if you can see here this color okay so if you want to create your own you, if you know Adobe Photoshop so you can create your own textures it's just a PNG file so this one I used uh, you can see and you can use this one or that one all you need to do just uh, you have to go to air session origin and face mesh prefab click here go down prefab you can just drag drop oh, oh okay here yeah. so it's change okay so it's very easy not so difficult so now let me go to the presentation again and we can check is there anything missing or not so i think we have done everything this is the last step okay now we can just now we have to just build the project okay this face match prefab from prefab folder to air session origin we drag drop it and now we can build the project uh, for android user you have to go to file setting build and i said it is actually selected ios so i have to select an android one and one more thing i had to click on uh, add open scene and i have to add uh, give this name this scene like this is a new scene 
I have I must have to uh, add a name of this scene so I added just four and you can add any name here and then just you need to switch the platform and if you are already in Android platform you have to just click on a build and then you will be able to get your apk file and you have to run that apk file on your uh, android phone like you can uh, do that by using the mo data cable also and also you can upload on a server or email uh, on any email address so you can do li like that way also this is the simple for android and for ios just we have to build a project whole project and then we have to open the project in xcode uh, maybe if i have a project open like this it open like that way and you just need to go here and uh, you have to just uh, add your uh, check here automatic manage signing and select your team and after that you have to select your phone if your phone is connected it will show here and then you just click on a run then your project will be run in your iphone that for iphone and this android one is just you have to click here build and just you need to add a name any name and just save it will create a apk file and for ios when i build for ios it will create a folder for ios uh, like a uh, simple xcode project it will create so in the pre my previous tutorial i already showed that uh, like this one and we have to just open this file and we have to just do some two steps like I already told you you have to click here and signing and capabilities then to check the automatically manage signing and after that go and destination select your phone and just run okay that's all for this tutorial I hope you understand if you have any question you can ask me thank you very much thanks for watching